The Iranian presidential election will be a real test for President Rouhani. The man who brought the country into a landmark nuclear deal and reintegrated it with the global economy. What are the key issues for Iranian voters and how might the election affect U.S. policy? The economy will certainly be a major concern. Rouhani came to power in 2013, promising a nuclear agreement that would end sanctions and pull Iran out of its deep recession. But the deal only resulted in further disappointment and resentment. The robust economic growth of 2016 was confined primarily to the oil industry, and unemployment has continued to rise, topping 12%. Meanwhile, none of the presidential candidates have the muscle or the willingness to tackle the deep-rooted structural problems that stifle growth and deter foreign businesses, such as corruption and cronyism. As a result, Iran's economic performance is likely to remain disappointing, particularly in comparison to that of neighbors Turkey and Saudi Arabia. No doubt Rouhani's opponents will hold him accountable for this lackluster economy and the failed promise of a broad economic revival. Iran is a country at war in Syria, Iraq, and Yemen, yet hardly a word spoken by the candidates about the country's regional and military policies. Whoever is elected president will not have any authority over the IRGC Quds Force, and its legion of Shia militias involved in these regional conflicts. Nor will he control the IRGC-led ballistic missile program. Yet the expeditionary forces and the missile program are the two pillars of Iran's regional strategy and a real threat to the US military personnel and interests as well as those of our allies. The supreme leader and revolutionary institutions, not the president and elected organs, set regional and military policies. So the reality is that the election matters, but not on issues that most affect US security interests. I agree that the supreme leader and his hardline elite control the most important decisions in Iran. For this very reason, the upcoming presidential election may have greater impact than in the past. After three decades in the office, Ayatollah Khamenei is in poor health and his passing would afford the new president open ground to affect the succession process. As we head into the election, it appears that Rouhani's re-election is safe. There is some evidence that Rouhani and not the hardliners is harmony is favored. Nor have hardliners seemingly benefited from a backlash into the election of President Donald Trump and his Iran policies. The presidential election is important to Iran, but true transformation remains in the hands of the supreme leader, and whoever succeeds him 